And then tonight, today I'm going to be reviewing caps. So a couple of months back, I bought as many caps as I could and I'm going to put them to the test. And these are the ones I'm going to be testing. So I've placed them up from the smallest to the biggest. Okay, from this one, we've got a stencil cap. Then Skinny Pro. I think this is called a uh, Maclean. It's got, um, it doesn't have a, a slit, it's just a tube. Um, it's a very small cap. Uh, then we've got a um, gold beige dot, it comes on a, um, what you call it, Montana Gold. Uh, the blue one is a stock cap on um, some of the belt on. The black one is the stock cap on some of the belt on as well. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but the slits are the same. Um, then we've got the skinny banana that comes on the 94, new 94s. Then this is the universal banana, pretty much the same thing as that one. Uh, Lego, which is kind of like um, a skinny... Ah, focus, focus! You can see the slit is quite cut. It's it's quite small. It's kind of like the um, the New York skinny, but it's yellow. But it's the same thing. Uh, then we've got the needle cap, which is a big favorite of mine. <clears throat> it's got a um, kind of nice purpose. Then we've got a Jiffy, really comfortable in the winter compared to this, because your your fingers got like a, a lot of space to rest on and when it's cold it's, it's nice and comfortable it's kind of like medium fat I'll show you in a minute then we have um, calligraphy then I don't know what this one is called but um, it's actually quite cool it's um, it's ov obviously a fat you can control it down to a skinny like any cap like all of these but the cool the cool thing is um, it goes on top of mail cans and if you put this adapter which comes with it, uh, you can put it on uh, female cans as well. Ghetto Blaster from um, Ironlac, which is pretty big. Come on! As you can see the slit, it's kind of like a pink dot. Funny enough, it's kind of hard to get pink dots now. And of course the biggest and my favorite, Astro Cap, with a massive slit on the tube. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna use a stencil cap and a skinny pro. So I'm gonna do a dot. Whoops. And a line. And this is pretty much as thin as I can get. Um, if I was to hold back a bit and go really close to the wall. Up next, we have the skinny pro. And that's the thing, when you see the charts in the shop, you can't always rely on what they say when they have um, a spot and a line, depending on how far you are from the wall and how much you press. I've talked about this in previous videos, check them out, you'll get a different result. So I'm just going to try and keep it as thin as I can get it with each of the cap and then kind of see what, they, what they're meant for. So in terms of the, the Skinny Pro, that's what they're meant for, for details. And um, the, um, the stencil cap is also for detail, small line as well. Up next, we have the McLean cap from the McLean, McLean crew, very good crew. And um, I think it's got another name as well, grey dot or something. There we go. It's a bit cold in the workshop, so that's why it's, it tends to drip. If, um, if the temperature was not as cold, then it wouldn't drip as much, whatever. Um, and a normal dot. Get something like this. Up next, we have the beige dot from the Montana Gold, the, the stock cap. So, thin. They're all dripping. <laughs> it's a bit thicker. For us to press a bit less, get something like this. Pressing a bit more and going away a bit more. Something like this. Up next, we have the Belton Blue Stock Cap. Uh, 
Not my favorite, but if you're doing stencils, this is really a good one. Uh, also the one that comes on the um, Montana Gold. The big beef I have with Montana Gold is not so much the paint or anything, it's the fact that I can't use an Astro Cap on it. It's, um, it just drips. It doesn't allow me the control that I have with a 94 can. With a 94, put Astro, do whatever I want. With a Montana Gold, it'll drip all over the place. If I use one of their level 3 or a Skinny Pro, no problem. But I don't like to work like this, so whatever. It's still a good paint, I just me. Up next we have, um, I think this has been on, uh, this is a black white dot, it's a stock cap for some belt on, some 94, uh, kind of a random average stock cap. Oops. All right, this is really not meant for this, it's more like that, it's kind of, it's got a fuzzy sort of look. It's kind of like jet wash, don't like the look of it. It's, um, it really wants to drip. It's, I guess it's ideal if, you, if you're using that cap on, um, on spray mount glue because it'll shoot the glue out. Apart from that, not a big fan. Alright, this is the one that comes on the 94. Very good cap, I just don't like the shape of it. The banana shape, I prefer the rounded shape or even the... Thing. Man, all my dots are dripping. So really good control with that. You make a bigger line or an even bigger line. Depending on how far you are from the wall. So really how you use a cap is really down to you. It's down to the three factors. The distance between the wall or the paper and your can. So obviously when you want to trace or get a thin line, tip the can and get as close as you can. The distance, so the distance is one. How much you're pressing on the cap is another. What's the film? <laughs> um, and how fast you're moving. So these are the three factors that determine how you're going to spray. Universal, when you're traveling to some countries that don't have a ton of caps, a lot of the time they have a universal. It's a pretty good cap. Again, not a fan of the banana shape, but it's pretty good. Um, and it's pretty much the same as the clear one. Good control, nice. No problem. Close to the wall, far from the wall. Not much to it. Okay, then we get to my third favorite. First being Astro, second being Skinny Pro, and the third one is the needle. When I'm doing portraits, I like to... Obviously the portraits are quite big, and I like to use this, so it kind of gives a grain texture to the skin. I think it looks pretty good. So, this one, you can, you can hold it here and do the business, or you can have it closed, but then that's going to drip, obviously, a lot. If you have it about here, and you press fully, you get this kind of stuff. And if you're close to it, you get this kind of splatter. You're holding back, you're trying to, like with a skinny, you're trying to do a thin line, but away from the wall. And then that's going to give you this kind of effect, which is great when you're doing skin, skin tones. You do this with um, like a beige, a brown, a whatever colors you, you're mixing together, not just one you get something really nice. And if, I can do a line, but it's not really what it's for. It's just jagged. And if I'm further down, I get this kind of stuff. So it's not really, um, it's more if you're trying to reach or if you're trying to get a texture. Next one that I've never been a fan of, this is a, um, um, well, it's meant to be a New York skinny, which uh, they didn't really fit on the cans. So that's why I made. Uh, this one is uh, Lego, and I think it's from Cobra, if I'm not mistaken, but it would have the same thing. So the dot would look like this, and this would be a line. Bigger, bam. I said this before, if you're using um, a New York fat or New York skinny to do an outline on your piece, very good, because compared to those, 
the line is going to be constant all the time. <laughs> and I flare, but unless you're flaring, you're going to get something really decent. Um, this one is a calligraphy cap. For all of those, I only took like the main ones because there's the same in white, the, the same in different thicknesses. Needle, there are different needle caps. Uh, skinnies, there are way more, but you know. I could have, as I said, like 50 caps, but then you can already see I could pretty much do the same, apart from the needle cap and this one, I could do pretty much the same thin lines with all of them. Alright, so. So this you can. Obviously, it gives you this kind of thing. You can be closed and still get a fin line. Or you could spin this the other way and then give you some light up. Which is more for. You can use it to paint regardless, of course, but it's more for when you're doing tags. Then you've got this kind of like bevel thing. Looks pretty cool. <coughs> Okay, this is quickly becoming one of my favorites. It's um, a Jiffy, Jiffy cap, and it's so comfortable. Like I said before, because this has got a big platform compared to a small one, when you're painting outside, I mean, it's cold here, but it's still inside the workshop. But if you're outside and you're painting at zero or below zero degrees, and you're pressing on there, it's like your fingers about to explode. There's so much your blood, there's so much pressure, you feel it's going to break. It's kind of weird and scary, but it's not comfortable. When you've got a massive one like this, oh man, it's brilliant. So, this one is kind of, it's very cool. It's, it's um, medium thickness. It's kind of, it's good for thin lines. It's good for medium lines. Not so much for thick lines. It's not super clean. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's a bit of a spray everywhere. It's more for... This is this is his thickness. This is what this cap is for. You can go a bit bigger. But this is as big as it'll go. It's not very clean, but... Whatever. And um, yeah, as I said, this is really, really comfortable. So, if you want to paint for hours and it's cold, get a GP cap. This is a bit of a weird one, and I got it for when I go and uh, paint in third world countries because, first of all, getting the cans is a mission. Getting the caps is just forget it. I mean, they've never heard of it. They're like, dude, here's the can, get on with it. So the caps are a bit of a problem. This one comes with a, a spare tube, which you can take out. And uh, you can put this, if this is a male cap, you can put this on top, so then you can get um, uh, thick lines. So, it's funny, when I, before I went to work in Philippines, in uh, I don't know, Africa, I was like, oh, I'm just going to get the cans fine. Yeah, then I go to Egypt, and it's like, that's all you have, but then there's no caps. And so you can't do thin lines, you can sort of add a push, but the caps that they have mimic this one, which is like a... Jet pressure, not very good, but you can't do thick lines either. With this, it would allow you to do both. So if I put this on, put it in there, it's not perfect, but if that's all you have, it's not bad. So thin line, it's as thin as it'll go. And if you want to go thick, you get something pretty decent. It's not an astro, but Kind of resemble um, um, a, a pink dot, but with less pressure. Kind of like an Astro, but smaller. So, this is pretty good. Running out of space, we're going to have to go with white. Okay, we have Ghetto Blaster from Einlag. <laughs> kind of cool name, cool cap. Um, Thin would be impossible. <laughs> so you can make a thin line out of it if you really hold back. Come on. I control you, you don't control me. Let's go. 
sort of, but this is more what it's for. So a line, be like this. It's kind of like the calligraphy cap. You can also spin it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And you can also take it out, but when you take it out, it's just got a straight up mess. So when you spin it, you're gonna get the same as the calligraphy cap. Really not clean, I don't know if it's this particular one, but whatever. I'm just not a fan of um, calligraphy caps anyway. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have the Astro Cap. The Astro Cap is going to give you. This is because it's cold, but normally I could get a bit better. But the Astro Cap is going to give you everything that all of the others, apart from the even the needle cap, will give you a bit of a splatter. I use it sometimes, but if you're not careful, this happens when you're doing a spider. Um, but apart from that, the calligraphy cap is going to be something you can't do with this, but everything else you can. Because it's going to give you, um, it's going to give you the control, so you can do this. You can do the thin lines. You can do the, the splatter. As I say, you want to be careful because Sometimes this happens. You can also obviously do a big fill. Um, if you're doing portraits, using an Astro Cap is brilliant. It might take you like a, a couple of days just to get used to um, controlling it and all that, but it's every time I teach, I teach always with an Astro Cap. People have never painted and they get the details straight away. So you just need to practice a bit, unless you experiment, uh, unless you experience, then obviously you you know how to use it, but it's a really cool cap for everything. The only problem is, like, if you're doing portraits, it's amazing because you can blend all that. If you're doing pieces and you want to, you want to cover an area quick, you're going to get all of this stuff, which is not ideal. If you're using a pink, a pink dot um, or something more like pressure, you're not going to get that. It's going to cover a lot better. Um, with what I've got, I. Uh, don't really. Uh, maybe if you get like a blue stock cap, you're going to be able to cover a bit better. With an Astro, you'll do the same, but you'll use a lot more paint. So it kind of depends what you want to use it for. You can fill in big areas with it. It's got its limitations, but it's still the best cap, I think. Okay, that's it. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, please don't subscribe, don't like this video, and don't comment. I'll see you soon.